Hi, Miss Burgess here. So in math, we've been studying measurement. We've studied length, we've studied capacity, and now we're studying mass. What is mass? The real definition for mass is how much matter something has. But for our purposes in math, we're gonna think about mass being weight. Whatever something weighs would be its mass. Anytime you want to measure something, you have to have some kind of scale to measure it. You'll have scales that measure just light objects and then you'll have bigger scales that measure heavier objects. If I want to check what my body mass index is, which means what I weigh, I would have to step on a scale and it will tell me how much I weigh. So let's see how much that is. Well, I'm not gonna tell you that. You know it's not polite to ask a lady what her weight is idea of what these units feel like, you might think of an ounce like a slice of bread. For a pound, you might think about the whole loaf of bread. You kind of know what a loaf of bread feels like. That's about a pound. And for a ton, it would be like a small car. My car weighs almost 4,000 pounds, so it would be almost two tons. Now for the metric system, it has milligrams, grams, kilograms, and then a metric ton. So for a milligram, you might think of a small feather would be a milligram. A gram, which we measure by a paper clip, that is about one gram. And if you did a thousand paper clips, it would come up to a kilogram, which weighs about the weight of a bag of rice. And then if you put a thousand of these together, it would make a metric ton, which is going to be like a bigger car. Sometimes they say an elephant could be a metric ton. So why do we even need to know what things weigh? Well, if you have a skateboard that has a limit of 80 pounds, do you want your big old dad to get on it and break it? Well, no, so you would need to know what the weight limit is. If a bunch of you are getting into an elevator, and the maximum weight limit is 2,000 pounds, but the group of people wanting to get on the elevator weighs 4,000 pounds, that wouldn't be safe and the elevator may not work like it's supposed to. If you and your friends are jumping on a trampoline where the weight limit is 400 pounds, well now all the parents come out and want to join in on the fun and so they want to climb on the trampoline with you. Those springs are gonna break and you're gonna all hit the ground. So you need to know the weight limit before you allow too many people on the trampoline. Let's review what I tell you every week. We have two systems of measurement. Customary, which is also called standard, and the metric system. Honestly, the metric system is a lot easier to learn. It makes more sense, but the United States hasn't totally embraced it, so we still stick with what we are comfortable with, which is the customary measurement system. I made you this cheat sheet and put them on the same page so that you can compare the two systems. Both of these systems measure mass, which is weight, but the systems themselves have very different units of weight. For lightweight items, for the customary measurement, you would use ounces, like a piece of bread. For the metric system, you would use milligrams and grams, which would be like a feather or a paper clip. For medium weight items, Customary measurement uses pounds. The metric system uses kilograms. For heavier objects, customary uses tons, which is 2,000 pounds. And the metric system uses metric tons, which are a little bit bigger than the customary ton. Now remember, with the metric system, there's a hint in the unit name itself. So if you forget, you can easily figure it out. If a gram is the base unit, milli and kilo mean 1,000. So it makes sense when you look at it this way. Here you have a gram, you have a milligram, which is small. So there would be 1,000 milligrams to make a gram. And a kilogram is bigger than a gram. And so that would mean it's 1,000 grams in a kilogram. Now look at meter. We know millimeters are teeny tiny. Well, look at the word. There are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. And then when you look at kilometer, they're for bigger distances, so that means a thousand meters are in a kilometer. Lastly, for liter, milliliter would be a tiny amount, like in a dropper. A thousand milliliters would be in a liter. 
A kiloliter is a bigger measurement, and that would mean that there are a thousand liters in a kiloliter. So have fun with it. Grab a scale, go around and start measuring things. Try to guess how much they weigh, and then measure them and see how close you were. Have fun!